The chanting of Hanuman Chalisa on the loudspeaker has now become a political storm and this time in eye of the storm is a Rana couple in Maharashtra. This is showing no signs of settling down after being sent to judicial custody. MLA Ravi Rana in an exclusive reaction to India Today is alleging that the couple is being framed by the Udav Thakri government. Arrested MLA Ravi Rana, his wife MP Navneet Rana have now been sent to judicial custody till 6th of May. Not just that, sedition charge has been added in the case against them. The Bandra court rejected the request for police custody. The couple was arrested on Saturday based on a complaint registered by the Shiv Sena workers for hurting religious sentiment. Rana's wanted to chant the Hanuman Chalisa outside Chief Minister Udav Thakre's house, Matoshri. But a counter-FIR has also been filed against the Sena workers who staged a protest outside the Rana residence. The couple's lawyer claims the MB and the MLA are arrested on unfair ground. Navneet Rana has meanwhile been provided a Y category security by the centre. Hitting out at the Sena, BJP leader Kirit Somaya is saying that the end of Sena government is near and that is uh, even that the protesting Senics are goons. Somaya claimed that stones were pelted at his car and he sustained injuries while leaving the car police station after meeting the Rana couple. इन्होंने जो जो डिस हेट और डिसलाइक जो गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ जो चीफ मिनिस्टर है उनके खिलाफ इन्होंने जो ये किया मशीनरी को जो चैलेंज किया है उसकी तहत से इसको 124 लाया है। This entire case is a bogus case. They have a very strong feeling that they are standing on loose ground. They are standing on loose ground. They know there is a possibility of release on bail. Therefore, they are prepared for a second FIR. So they are going to arrest him the moment he is released on bail in one case. Then there may be another case. Then there may be another case. We know what is supposed to be done. Anuman Chalisa will not be said in Maharashtra. So will it be said in Pakistan? The whole thing is that 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 और उनका कोई भी दोष उनके ऊपर सिद्ध नहीं होता है ऐसे समय जिस प्रकार की ये सारी कार्रवाई चल रही है मुझे तो लगता है कि महाराष्ट्र की सरकार एक महिला से इतनी डरी कि उनको लोग जमा करके उनके ऊपर हमला करने की नौबत आई इससे शर्मनाक बात क्या हो सकती Let's go on the ground in Mumbai where the showdown is taking place. My colleague Parus Dama is currently reporting on this story right outside the Santa Cruz police station. Uh, Parus, so, so far we know that this couple is at the station. What more are you hearing of the politics around it? Pooja, this whole matter is a political mess right yes. now because we can see how uh, Sayu Shainiks has gathered near Matushri and after that they had created uh, a big mess uh, outside Matushri. After Matushri, they went, uh, yesterday they went to uh, Rana couple's house and uh, downstairs they had created a, a very big mess. But now this uh, whole situation is getting into another tangent where everything is uh, very uncertain and very unclear. Right now we are uh, right outside Santa Cruz police station and uh, they, the couple are in Inside Santa Cruz Police Station, uh, some tests were being done after uh, they came back from court. RT-PCR test has been done. Uh, it's been more than two hours and still they are waiting for RT-PCR test to come. After that, they will be uh, going to Baikla. Uh, the female one will be going to Baikala jail and the male one uh, uh, still there, there is some confusion where he, he will be had, uh, headed. But right now this whole situation is getting into mess because uh, in the morning another FIR was registered on uh, Rana couple. So uh, this is going to be a little uh, heavy thing for all the political things the, which is happening around Mumbai because uh, at, at a stage one, uh, one thing is Azan uh, thing is happening, Hanuman Chalisa thing is happening, speaker thing is happening and now this thing is happening. 
happening. The uh, the still there is law and order situation which uh, Mumbai police is trying to uh, sort out over here. But still, uh, right now, if we talk about uh, Rana couple, they are inside Santa Cruz police station, and everyone is waiting for the uh, RT-PCR test to come. And after that, uh, okay. it will be clear where they will be uh, going where, with jail. Uh, they will be going. So still, there is some confusion. So that means some uh, medical here, formality some is like you are telling us. Paras to... need to be finished, and then perhaps uh, they will be sent to judicial custody. Paras Zama is tracking all the latest from outside the police station. Remember, Rana couple arrested one MP, one MLA. And now a BJP shifts in our face off over it. Paros, I'll come back to you in just a short while. Thank you very much for now. Prime Minister Narendra Modi kick-started his Jammu and Kashmir visit by flagging off several development projects today. PM arrived at the Palli village in Samba district where he addressed all the Gram Sabhas across the country on the National Panchayati Raj Day. This is PM Modi's first visit to JNK since the scrapping of Article 370. During this visit, Prime Minister inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of multiple development initiatives bordering around 20,000 crore rupees. Prime Minister said, the development of India is hidden in the mantra of vocal for local and local governance. Pushing for development in the Union territory, PM Modi said, Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat focuses on connectivity and to bridge the distances. He further said that the centre is taking every effort to boost employment opportunities in the region. Among the multi-crore projects launched by PM Modi, the Banihal Kazigund Road Tunnel will help bring the region of JNK closer to the rest of the country. Not just that, the hydroelectric project worth 9,800 crore rupees is also one of the big announcements. There is also Amrit Sarovar, an initiative aimed at developing and rejuvenating 75 water bodies in each district of India. Swachya Bharat Abhiyan ke tahat toilets ho is ka bada laab Jammu Kashmir ko mila hai. Saathiyo Aajadi ke Amrit Kaal yani आने वाले 25 साल में नया जम्मू कश्मीर विकास की नई गाथा लिखेगा साथियों मेरे शब्दों में भरोसा कीजिए घाटी के नौजवान आपके माता पिता को आपके दादा दादी को आपके नाना नानी को जिन मुसीबतों से जिंदगी जीनी पड़ी मेरे नौजवान आपको कभी भी ऐसी मुसीबतों से जिंदगी जीनी नहीं पड़ेगी ये मैं करके दिखाऊंगा ये मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाने आया हूं देश को कार्बन न्यूट्रल बनाने का जो संकल्प देश ने उठाया है उसी दिशा में भी जम्मू कश्मीर ने आज एक बड़ी पहल की है ग्लासगो में दुनिया के बड़े बड़े दिग्गज इकट्ठे हुए थे कार्बन न्यूट्रल को लेकर के बहुत सारे भाषण हुए बहुत सारे बयान हुए बहुत सारी घोषणाएं हुई लेकिन ये हिंदुस्तान है जो ग्लासगो के संकल्प को आज जम्मू कश्मीर की एक छोटी पंचायत पल्ली पंचायत के अंदर देश की पहली कार्बन न्यूट्रल पंचायत बनने की तरफ आगे बढ़ रहा है Jailed Yes Bank co-founder Rana Kapoor has made a startling accusation against the Gandhi family. In the chart sheet filed by the Enforcement Directorate, Kapoor has alleged that he was apparently forced to buy a painting by reputed painter M.F. Hussain of Rajiv Gandhi. And the painting had to be bought from Priyanka Gandhi Vadra for a price of 2 crore rupees. The statement of Rana Kapoor are part of the second supplementary charge sheet where there's an allegation that there was pressure on him by the then Petroleum Minister Murali Deora to buy the painting who told him that the purchase would help him build a relationship with a politically powerful Gandhi family. Kapoor told the ED that he was uh, 
told this by Melindyora, that's his claim, that the proceeds from the sale was uh, used for Sonia Gandhi's treatment in New York. Kapoor also claimed that Sonia's confidant Ahmed Patel assured him that he would be seriously considered for the Padma Bhushan Award for supporting the Gandhi family at an opportune time. It is quite evident from Rana Kapoor's statement that the Gandhi family and the Congress was extorting money from businessmen for their personal use. They were also selling the highest civilian award of this country to anybody who was willing to bid for it or to those who were doing their bidding for the Gandhi family and the Congress party. A person who is behind bars for years, whose 20, 30 bail applications have been rejected, who is called a crook and a fraudster, makes allegations about dead people and the government is jumping with joy only because it suits their political angle. They want to keep the pot boiling for 2022 regarding a transaction of 2010 when neither Murli Devra is here to deny it nor Ahmed Patel sadly is here to deny it.